what's up you guys it's a girl lovely and i am back with another video as you can see from the thumbnail and the title in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to install using shimmer wall i'm going to be showing you guys how to put together a shimmer wall how to attach your balloons and also how to attach a neon sign to your shimmer wall but before we get started if you are subscribed to the channel already please go ahead hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and also leave me some comments in the comment section below but let's just get straight into this video i want to give a big shout out to you backdrop for sponsoring today's video they sent me this beautiful shimmer wall that i'm going to be showing you guys how to put together and all that good stuff if you would like to check them out the link will be in my description box below and also you get a 10 percent off when you use my discount code loverly10 all the information will be in the description box down below but let's just get started and behind me here I have my stand that I'm going to be attaching my shimmer wall to. If you guys want to know how I made the base for this stand, the link for that video will be some somewhere up here. And I'll also link it in the description box down below so you guys can go ahead and watch that. But it's not a big shimmer wall so I'm going to be using these stands. Normally I'll use like my pipe and drip stand for like a 7x7 seven seven or 8x8 eight eight shimmer wall. But because this is a smaller shimmer wall, I'm going to be using these poles. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to attach it to these poles, obviously. Are you ready? So I have like 20 panels of these silver shimmer walls. I'm going to unpack, I'm going to remove them from the packaging and then we're going to get started. And they sent some extra um little square shimmer just in case you know one of these fall off or anything shimmer walls these things rarely fall off unless you're like handling them like really roughly but in case one of these square shimmers fall off then you get some extras in this little baggie right here as well as some gloves i think this is to help you snap them together because their shimmer walls if you know about shimmer walls they're not too easy to snap together they will hurt your fingers so i think that is what the gloves is for right here i have some mini zip ties just in case i need zip ties to help put some of these together they are the snap type of shimmer walls so i doubt i will need any type of zip ties but we'll find out very soon okay guys i'm gonna be showing you guys how to put these things together i'm also going to be showing you guys what it looks like up close so this is how the shimmer wall looks and these little things up here is what we snap together so i'm going to be taking another one and like you see this right there make sure this thing is focusing so you see this right here is what i'm going to be snapping in this hole right here and they're supposed to snap in place normally when you use a shimmer walls like this the snap the ones that you have to snap in place you don't have to worry about them falling apart because they always stay together so this is two panels together You guys so here's a little trick i use to not hurt my finger too much because this is how you're supposed to like squeeze it down but what i do i i put it in place but what i do i put it in place you can see it right there it's supposed to snap down i take a scissors make sure that it's on a hard surface i take my scissors and then i just push it down and then it snaps in place just like that so I don't have to worry about hurting my fingers that's a little trick if you like to try it all right guys so I just finished putting 
all of these panels together. Um, instead of using all 20 panels, I used 18, which gave me a three by six um, shimmer wall. So my stands right here, they're six feet tall. And then I'm gonna have to just pull them closer to um, fit the three feet width. But this is how it's looking. I made two different panels. This is um, six panels together. And this right here is 12 panels together. I'm gonna be using zip ties to put it all together. All right, guys, I'm going to be using some eight inch zip ties. I have them in black. I normally get zip ties in black or like the clearish white ones just so they don't show through my backdrops. But I think I'm gonna put on one first, like the first one, and then add the other one to the bottom. Okay guys, so this is how the top part of the shimmer wall is looking right now. You don't have to worry about these things because I'm gonna be using something to hide them. But if you want to, you could have added the shimmer wall higher if you wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and add the bottom part just so you guys can see the finished look. This, the other half of the wall right here, this is six panels put together and I'm just gonna add it to the bottom to finish the wall. I'm gonna be using, um, I'm gonna be snapping it to this wall and then using the zip tie to attach it to the sides of the pole. And what I like to do to make sure that all my little tiles are in place, I like to just shake it just so they all fall in place. All right, you guys, now that you have the shimmer wall up here, I'm going to be showing you guys how I attach my neon sign to shimmer walls. So here I have my happy birthday neon sign that i got off amazon i'm gonna be linking that in the description box below so you guys can get it if you want to i'm going to show you guys how i use fish line to attach the the um neon sign to the shiver wall okay i have my fishing line right here also from amazon <laughs> i link it in the description box down below i i have to tell you guys where i get everything because if you read my comments then you'll see people asking about every single thing that I use in the video that is why I try to link them as much as I can so you guys could get it so I'm gonna use my fishing line and it's pretty self-explanatory the neon signs comes with little holes on top and at the bottom so I'm gonna be stringing the fishing line on the top ones I don't normally use the bottom holes just the top holes I just put this fishing line in there and you know push it through the back of my shimmer wall I don't usually do this by myself guys I always have my girlfriend helping me but for the sake of the video I'm gonna have to try to do it by myself some things you just need help with and Attaching neon signs to a shimmer wall is one of them, but I'm gonna try to do it by myself this time Okay, 
Okay, so my signs are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the happy first, then I attach the birthday. So I think I want it like up here and then the happy birthday coming off right here. So yeah. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. not easy doing it by myself it's like falling but we got this we got this okay all right there you go i just attached the happy and now i'm gonna try to attach the birthday like about right here yeah You guys, I'm struggling. Like, it's not even easy. Like, literally, I'm going through it right now. This thing is even crooked. Like, make sure that you got somebody to help you because this is not easy. All right, guys, so I did it. I attached the neon sign to the shimmer wall on my own. It was not easy, as you guys can see. I was literally struggling. But now I'm gonna take the, the cords that come with the neon sign and I'm gonna push it in the back of the shimmer wall. Just so it's not visible. And also just so I can plug it in from the back. So I'm gonna do that for both signs. Pretty easy to hide actually. Pretty easy to hide. So here is the the cord that comes with the shimmer wall. Super easy thing to do. Alright guys, so that is how it looks with the neon sign. It also has it also comes with a little button at the back of it to like dim the light down a little bit or make it brighter so i'm gonna dim it down just so it can be seen on camera because this is way too bright so yeah i think that is better but it can go like super bright see you guys can see it and it can go all the way down so i'm gonna leave it there for now so i can finish the whole backdrop yeah so you guys, because the the shimmer wall is silver, I even tried to turn off all the lights in the room. Because the shimmer wall is silver and the neon sign is white, it's not really showing on camera. So I am so sorry about that. I could try to zoom in a little bit. And then you guys see, it's not easy to be seen. But you guys will see the end result. I'm gonna turn off the shimmer wall. I'm gonna turn off the neon sign for now and then show you guys how I um, attach balloons to it. I'm just gonna do a mini garland. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be making a, a mini garland just to add to the backdrop and just to show you guys how to attach a balloon garland to a shimmer wall. It's pretty easy. It's basically the same way you attach a balloon garland to like a pipe and drape stand or a backdrop stand. It's the same thing, but somebody still might not know how that works. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna be using Caltex Chrome Silver in 11 and seven inches. And also I have some Chrome Silver from Bologna. It's called Brilliant Silver in their brand. I also have some Caltex Black in 11 and five inch. Yes. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be making a small garland, nothing big. Just a pretty small one to demonstrate to you guys. Let me use my extras first.
because I'm going to start putting my garland together. If you're new to this channel or as you guys already know, I put my garlands together or my clusters together by, by tying it at the neck. I don't use any like ribbon or fishing line or like 260s to put my garlands together. I just tie it by the neck. So I'm going to be making clusters of six for this garland because it's a mini garland. I'm going to be putting one small one on the side right here and then a mini one up top at the order at the other corner. So I'm going to be doing clusters of six for the chrome silver and clusters of four for the black because I only want a little bit of black. Alright guys, so this is my first little garland. It's about four feet tall, which is perfect. I don't need it any taller. And then my other mini garland is going to the other corner. So I'm going to attach this to this side of the shimmer wall using 260 cubes. I have my 260s right here. You can literally use any color you want because nine times out of ten it would not show. So I'm going to be using a blush and a white. I'm going to be using one at the in the middle or a little bit at the top of where the garland will stop and then one at the bottom. So I'm just tying it on the pole right here. So that's one and then the other one I'm going to be putting on the bottom. So that is two. So I'm going to take my garland and I'm going to tie it at the bottom first. And then I'm going to tie the other part up here. So this is my 260 balloon. I'm just bringing it around my garland and tying it inside the middle. See, I'm going to actually add another 260 right there in the middle. This is the mini garland that I'm going to be adding to the top over there. And I'm going to be using two 260 balloons. I'm going to attach one on the side right here or actually maybe two on the side not sure one right here and then i think i'm gonna add another one like up here on the shimmer wall right there i like to have multiple tying points just so the garland stays onto the backdrop. So I have a mini garland up here and then I have a smaller garland down here. So I'm going to work some more on this garland, like give it some more body or whatever. I'm not going to be adding any bigger size balloons. Just be adding, I'm just going to be adding some 11 inches and then I'm going to use my 5 inch fillers. So bring it all together then I'm going to move on to that one on top.
All right, you guys, here is my finished backdrop. Again, shout out to you, Backdrop, for sending me this lovely shimmer wall. This is a three by six shimmer wall, and I only use 18 panels. Remember, if you guys would like to order anything off of the You Backdrop website, just go ahead and use my 10% off discount code, lovely10. I'll put it right here, and it'll also be in my description box down below, as well as all the other products and supplies that I use to make this beautiful backdrop. It'll be in the description box down below, so go ahead and check it out if you want to. But that is all for this video, guys. I'm going to be showing you guys an up-close look of everything in a minute. But if you like this backdrop, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. But that is all for this video, and I'll definitely catch you guys in another one.